YouTube, Biker Mike here, back with a video on my new truck and a little issue having with the electronic trailer brake controller. So as you can see there, I've got the notification on the information center to service the trailer brake system. I've done a little bit of research on this out there. There's a, a lot of people who have the issue with the uh, trailer brake controller right there. So what I've already done is I've used my handy Blue Driver Bluetooth OBD2 code reader and that goes in under the dash in the OBD2 port. Now you can get these on Amazon. They're only $100. They have pretty good functionality for the money. So I'll leave a link down in the description where you can get one of these. And if you want to purchase one, uh, that'll help me out. I make a little small, small commission on anything I sell on Amazon. So if you appreciate the video and this helps you out, go ahead and do that. Really appreciate it. So the codes I got were down here. You can see replace trailer brake control module or repair the wiring on the trailer brake control harness. So I've already checked the wiring on it and it all looked good. So I went ahead and bought one of the brake controllers. And here's the unit here. You can also get this on Amazon and I'll leave a link down in the description for this as well. But if you want to get it somewhere else, there's the part number there. And it's a genuine GM part. And the brake control module looks just like this. And this is located up underneath the truck, right above the spare tire. So I'm gonna go drop the spare tire and I'll be right back. Okay guys, we're down here underneath my truck. And the trailer brake controller is right up, right up in here. So it looks like I'm gonna have to drop this down and out of the way, but I'm not gonna disconnect it. I'm just gonna unloosen these 10 millimeter bolts. There's three of them and we'll have a look once I get that down out of the way. Okay, so I got that piece down out of the way and this is interesting. It looks like it mounts from the top up inside here and I'm not sure what size of nut that is up there. It looks like the bolts are welded on the back here. But uh, yeah, this is going to be interesting to get at. Maybe I'll be able to... Yeah, this doesn't look very friendly to remove. But I'll have a look up there and see what I can do. Okay, so I'm down here under the truck and if you just come up here, up under this cross member, you can get a look. Now there's the connector and I got my 10 millimeter ratcheting wrench on there. And it looks like I'll be able to get those two nuts off there you can see it back in there so yeah it's tight quarters but looks like we'll be able to get it out all right i was able to get it down a little tricky maybe a 10 millimeter deep socket and ratchet would work a little better but just slowly take those nuts off if they're rusted work them back and forth until you can get it dropped down and we'll just disconnect this and hook up the new one. All right, there you go. Out with the old, in with the new, and just gotta bolt it all back together. And uh, it should wrap it up. Now, one other thing I wanna mention is what I did. I don't normally pull a trailer with electric brakes. Uh, my trailer I pull all the time has hydraulic surge brakes. So I was getting really I was getting really tired of listening to that alarm go off. So I'll show you what I did to silence it. Now, obviously you don't wanna do this if you're pulling trailer with electric brakes. You wanna make sure this is working. This is just to turn it off for when you're just driving around without a trailer and you don't wanna to listen to that alarm. So you just gotta come up here to the power distribution center under the hood. Now this truck is a 2500 HD. So yours might be a little bit different, but it should work for all the Sierras or the Silverados. And if you look right here, trailer brake control, 30 amp fuse. 
it's right there now you can see i took it out and that's what silenced the alarm in my truck now just remember not to be pulling an electric or not to be pulling a trailer with electric brakes with this out you want to make sure this is fixed before you pull your trailer uh, so like i said i my trailer had hydraulic surge brakes so but i still wanted to get this fixed for towing my other trailer so there's the 30 amp fuse right there and i'm just going to put it right back into place and if you're watching this video this fixed my truck if it didn't fix my truck you won't be watching the video so if you like this video and it fixed my truck because you're watching it give the video a like and thanks again guys now one other thing some people replace the trailer brake controller inside the truck right over here and that's a pretty easy thing to do there's other videos on there on how to change that but you just pop this cover off you can buy these they're relatively inexpensive but my mechanical intuition told me that it was the more complicated component underneath the truck and like i said if you're watching this video it fixed my truck so once again guys thanks for watching this video Hopefully it wasn't uh, too long and boring, but if you like the video, like the video, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll probably be making more videos on um, my 2500 HD Duramax. I've always wanted one of these trucks, finally got it. Only drove old trusty Rusty for about 15 years, and I finally got one. So uh, one more time, thanks for watching. Biker Mike out.